I could stay in bed and wonder why Peanut Butter Boy and Peanut Butter Girl weren't meant to be. But I have things to do. Number one, act more. Number two, find treasure. I just really need to make some money. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. But I've got things to do. I made a list. Ooh. Well, go ahead. Figure out what I want to do. Diversify investment portfolio. Oh, I can help with number one. I have an awesome internet quiz. All right. Oh, God. Oh, good morning. What are you doing in the pantry? Locked myself in overnight. Again, Kate? How? Me indoors, you know. Are you OK? Oh, yeah. I put on one of your ASMR videos, and I was out cold in the potatoes. All right. <gasps> it's calculating. Oh, ugh. It says you're a Hufflepuff. OK. Hufflepuff's a patient. Anyway, I'm gonna go see Archie and work on my number one. I'm a Gryffindor. Damn it, Kate, again? I haven't had an audition in weeks, and being an actress is like being a tree. No one sees you do it. Do you even exist? I think that's how it goes. Archie, I auditioned less than Jennifer Grey after the nose job. Yeah, but more than that check from Dirty Dancing. Archie, that's the same woman. Logger, please. I'm going to run out. Don't look at my cards. Oh, what is that? This is the sprinkle bomb. Archie and I invented it. What's in it? Two parts whipped cream, one part sprinkles. <laughs> you laugh, but this is magic in a glass. I'll have to take your word for it. Not on my watch. Archie, another sprinkle bomb for my new friend here. You don't have diabetes, do you? Hadn't even knocked yet. Kate Bateman, you have been frustrated since you read those stupid, terrible reviews of our clown show. And so I have compiled a list of all sorts of different ways that people blow off steam, and we're going to try out each thing on this list until you feel better. I should have known that was doomed. I couldn't even pronounce his name. Was it Carl? How'd you know? The Australian accent is not built for that name. No kidding. Unfortunately, sometimes people let you down. Yeah. But when you find the good ones, it's like finding treasure. Oh, no. I've got to get to my number two. It was a pleasure to meet you. Andrew. Andrew. Lisa. <laughs> Archie. I've got to go. Put this on my tab. No, Lisa! I can't hear you going through a tunnel. No, Lisa! She was quite the drinking partner. You should see her act. She acts. I know Lisa was trying to help, but I'm actually a Gryffindor. At least she gave me the idea to try one of these online career quizzes. So I took the chance to get out of the house and try some new things. And what I learned was, when it comes to careers, there's not always cookie cutter solutions. I mean, we're all so different. But they always say, when things don't go well, go back to what you know. Hey guys, uh, bro SMR here. 
And today we're going to do something a little different. There won't be any ASMR today, I'm afraid. Huh. I mean, as most of you know, recently I turned 30, which has kind of led to a crisis of oneself. And you've seen my uploads fall off dramatically. And it's... I've been doing this for three years, and I just feel stuck. And I feel like I need to do something else. I feel like I need to branch out. Like, I don't know what it is. And it's not you guys, it's is a me thing. And so, with that, this is going to be my last video. Kate! No. Matt! Nailed it. I bought Kate a doorstop so she doesn't get stuck in the pantry. You paid for that? <laughs> Give me this. How was your day? Any luck with number one? I don't know, maybe. I think I just crowdsource my whatever life crisis I'm having. It's very modern of you, Matthew. Mm. Hmm? Well, good news is I can help with number two. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Diversify investment portfolio! It's treasure. It's chocolate. Chocolate treasure. So are you feeling a little better now? Actually, I do. You know, if I want to be a clown, I should just be a clown. Reviews be damned. <clears throat> Thanks, Simon. When I was a kid, I was always too afraid to jump in the pool. And I'd always really wanted to, but I'd always just hesitate and just sort of flail around and belly flop. Until one day, Timmy Penman showed me the cannonball. No finesse, just eyes closed, yet dive in, in a ball. And you know what? A sea ball hurts way less than a belly flop. Kate Bateman, you are my girlfriend, my clowning partner, and a pretty damn good mime knitter. And I'd like you to be my roommate too. So what do you say, Kate? Will you move in with me? <laughs> oh my goodness. My heart's like tap dancing right now. This is amazing. But I think there's someone I have to talk to first. Is that okay? Of course. Thanks, Simon. You know, things have a way of coming into focus at the end of the day, and you just know how it all has to go.